Let us now consider the employment interview from the employer's perspective. The interviewer's task is to gather information so that he or she can make an informed decision on which applicant to choose. In other words, the interviewer is predicting which applicant will be the best quote-unquote fit for the organization's culture and will be most productive in the open position. Despite the difficulties of identifying the quote-unquote best applicant, interviewing is a common feature for most hiring processes. There are two types of employment interviews. The first type is the job interview, which is a formal interaction between the hiring organization and the applicant. The purpose of a job interview is to determine the applicant's willingness to do the job and the applicant's ability to fit in, according to Emsbury and Powell. The second type of employment interview is the screening interview. Screening interviews are typically shorter than job interviews. They are also usually more informal and take place before an interested party submits a formal application. So, how does an interviewer prepare for the interview? First, the interviewer should assess the needs of the organization. In particular, what are the skills and personality that are necessary for the new hire to perform well in the position? This preparation is so important to a successful interview that Cohen 2001 recommends that interviewers adopt a behavioral interviewing technique in which the focus of the interview is to find employees whose talents and values rather than their resume match the job description. Next, the interviewer has to advertise the position. position. Advertising can take the form of online posting of the open position. Word of mouth advertising is also quite common. After the position has been advertised and the hiring department received applications, the hiring department will next have to filter the applicants. This task is to reduce the pool of applicants to a more manageable and select group of applicants who has the requisite skills and qualifications. This is often done by reviewing the applicant's submitted materials, such as the curriculum vitae. When conducting the interview, Emsbury and Powell suggest that interviewers assess applicants based on three basic categories. Capability, work ethic, and interpersonal maturity. First, capability is about whether the applicant can do the job. One way is to, is to review the applicant's capability is to consider his or her responsibilities at previous or present employment. Interviewers may also consider other work experiences and educational qualifications especially when those attributes are necessary for the new hire to do the job. Second, organizations tend to prefer applicants who can do or can both work alone and with others. Many jobs require employees to be able to work independently and in teams, even when most of their tasks are performed individually or with others. And third, interviewers interview interviewees to assess interpersonal maturity. Central to this focus is to determine how the applicant will manage personality differences and conflict. Amsbury and Powell note that interviewers are interested to learn how well the person works with others, works with management, and handles criticism. Such questions investigate the applicant's self-esteem, integrity, and ability to handle anger and stress.
One means of assessing interpersonal maturity is a technique known as the behavioral interview. Applicants are asked to describe how they have handled a variety of work situations in the past. If leadership skills are needed, the interviewer may ask applicants to describe a time in which they had to compel others to complete a major project. It's not enough for applicants to say that they are team players. The interviewer may ask questions such as, what happened the last time you had a conflict with a co-worker? Or, how do you respond when a colleague gossips about you? The focus is always on seeking responses with specific information, with the, in, with the interviewer using the information as a basis for making extrapolations about behavior in future job situations. Next, one factor that influences the format and structure of the, in, the employment interview is the type of position that the organization is seeking to fill and the, organi and, the and the candidate who is being considered. Different positions require different skills and types of people and will have different questions for each type of person you hire. The resume can tell you what applicants have done in the past, but it is a relatively poor device for telling you what they can do. Thus, the first job of the interviewer is not to be misled by the resume, for there is no necessary connection between the quality of the resume and the quality of the job candidate. And finally, a popular trend in many organizations today is puzzle-based interviews. These interviews subject the interviewee to high stress, basically unanswerable questions to see how well they think on the feed. Poundstone 2003 argues that this type of interview may reveal some important personality characteristics and may be useful with some younger applicants who enjoy this type of approach. The interview itself should be intended to gather information that will assist the organization in assessing the capability, work ethic, and interpersonal maturity of the applicant. All of this must be done within some strict legal guidelines that protect the applicant's rights. Personnel who conduct employee inter employment interviews must do so under a strict list of rules that limit the type of questions they can ask. They must gather the information necessary for hiring decisions without asking some specific questions. In sum, interviewers are gatekeepers who review the materials and information from applicants. They do that to determine which applicant will be the best fit for the organization.